Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. It's been entirely a month since we filmed a BYOP. I've been working on the last one that we put together all month. I actually made this kind of my like workhorse palette. So all of my items that were in Project Pans have kind of gone and lived in here along with just other shades that I wanted to try to get some use out of just to, again, use my collection as we are trying to do this year. Um, I have been trying to no pan left behind my entire eyeshadow collection and we're on the last stretch. I don't think I'm going to make it guys, but that is a conversation for a different video. <laughs> this has been my working palette and this is the palette right now. And I'm really happy. This has been my workhorse palette for the month of October and I absolutely loved working on this. I got tons of use on all of these shades. I did actually make like a little sheet, a tally sheet for the shades and I am so happy I used every shade including the ones that got added in at the tail end of the month. So like this is this makes me really excited again to continue to reach for my collection and i'm just really happy that i did this i'm gonna do the same thing this month and we're gonna kind of do like a an inspo palette but it's a little bit different because this palette isn't a actual palette that you can tangibly buy i um maybe i shouldn't show you this i have this post and i'll post a picture of it so you can see it in better clarity but i have this post by julia k march on instagram i'll have her instagram linked down below but i was kind of scrolling through her feed because she does these incredible palettes with her singles she's really inspired me to do something based on this cottage core palette and the singles that i have and i said it in another video my birthday falls in November also so I kind of just want to let myself reach for everything that I really want to reach for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck the shades that were in my BYOP. I'm going to tuck them back and I will shuffle things around and we'll we'll chat in a second. All right, so all these shades right here are shades that I'm focusing on in some capacity. I'm gonna put them in this palette just to kind of store away. And as we pull shades for the like inspo palette, I will grab these shades. All right, so I'll have a picture of the like inspo palette go up. And I'm actually, I personally, I'm gonna refer to the swatches. This is exciting. I actually think the shade that I had in that palette before this guy here which is flare would be beautiful for that first shade but i think i might want to try there's a cleona shade i think it's this one chandelier yeah there's this guy here chandelier which is a little more like intense of a shift for that kind of first shade and i think that this will be fun and these are just inspo kind of palettes not like trying to dupe it completely and this isn't even like a real palette it's 6 30 um p.m when i'm filming this now there's a lot of artificial lights in here so i don't know how well this is gonna pick up then it's just kind of a matte mustard yellow i think tishan actually the shade that we just put back would be pretty good for that as well so yeah why don't we just keep that out and try to get some more use out of it it's like the season for shades like that to me. And then it's kind of like a really acidic green. And I actually don't have one in my singles that I want to pull, but I will pull one that's in my project level up. Yeah, I think the shade um in my Kaleidos VR Neon palette, which is my project level up level one palette, um, I think this shade would be the best fit for that kind of shade. And I need an excuse to reach for this shade because I don't reach for it often. And then it's a really like brown olive. That's going to be really pretty. I want to pull this shade from my Zendo palette. I knew I had something a little bit more brown toned. And this is this guy here. I think it would just, man, the lighting is not going to be great for that. Next is a multi-chrome, it looks like. And I cannot wait to pull a shade for this. So I know it's going to be my Cleona 
shades over here. All right, so it looks like it's a really deep orangey base with a really green kind of flip. And I don't know if I really have anything quite like it. I have some multi-chromes in my pan those eyeshadows rotation right now. I am actually, I'm thinking I'm going to just roll the shade that's in that over into that slot. Be a good one. Now that I'm looking at them, I feel like this middle one, which was, I want to say this shade. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to roll this. I just like completely 180 on that one. So I haven't used this shade yet, I don't believe. This is embellishment. I want an excuse to reach for as many of these unused Cleona shades in my collection that I possibly can. And then another more brown, more like yellow kind of brown. And I definitely don't have singles in that kind of realm. Um, yeah, there, I just don't. So it's definitely going to be something from a palette. Sashimi City by Kaleidos has this guy, which is kind of like a yellowy brown. I also have Natasha Denona Gold, which has... Definitely a lot of these kind of. I have a ton of neutrals in bare necessities, and they're hat like, come on, that has to be one. I'm swatching Dijon next to this to see if they're different enough. Yeah, they're different enough. I'm gonna roll that shade from a Natasha Denona Gold in just because I've given a lot of love to this palette, and I want to show something else some love this month. We're keeping Dijon's in, two, two Dijon's in this month's rotation. How fun. That first row fits like a glove in there. The second row is the cool slash warm purples, and I'm excited. This used to be a realm of color that scared the pants off of me. I used to never want to reach for shades like that. Now I've learned to really enjoy them. So I'm really excited to roll this in, actually. So that first shade is just kind of a cool toned, like with purple that might have like a little bit of silver. It more or less, it's probably a multi-chrome or a duochrome, but I'm going to roll this just like flat metallic shade in it. This is the e.l.f. Rosewater Quad. This is the shade three from the quad. It's just a cool toned. Then it looks like more of like a coppery with a bit of a cool toned flip to it. And I think that is going to be, what do I think it's going to be? I think the shade that I'm going to go with is actually from the Cleona Dragon Fruit palette, just because the next shade, it looks like a plum in the pan, but when it's swatched out, it has almost a different kind of quality to it. So it looks way more like warm tone base with a, it honestly kind of looks like a Mac blue brown. I think the shade that I want to pull in is going to be Fruit Fizz because it has that kind of greeny shift to it. And I think it just kind of fits the vibe of what that shade looks like in swatch. The next shade, like I mentioned, we're getting the vibes, you know, and it's just a nice cool tone. Looks like it can be deepened up or sheared out kind of shade. And that is exactly what this one that's in my pan, those eyeshadows is. Um, you can really deepen it up. It is definitely cooler toned in the realm of browns. So it really go, it's kind of like a neutral. It really goes with every single thing I wear. <laughs> Every single thing I wear, I can wear this. So I am going to put this in for that slot, even though this is definitely more brown toned and not pinky. Again, this is, we're just vibing it out. The next shade is more of like a bronze and I either want to go with opulent, which is this guy here, which is so stunning. That shade is so pretty. Or this guy I feel like is another pretty one. This is torch. Maybe engrave actually might be a good one. Let me swatch this guy out because this might be cute. 
So the one in the palette is definitely more bronze. Maybe I do something like this, which is kind of like a more exciting bronze kind of shade. pretty through your face shade which is probably the furthest stretch it's this like more greeny kind of tone it's probably the furthest stretch from it but I think that the base note in this is definitely brown and I think that it'll go with like this kind of shade here but it'll also tie in with the green so I could do like a nice gradient kind of thing you can't even see this palette oh my goodness then we have a really deep berry shade Ooh, I'm going to pull something that's not quite an equivalent, but I've been reaching for this a lot recently and I really enjoy it and I would use it in the same capacity as the super deep plum shade that's in this palette that we're duping or like inspired by. I should say inspired by because this really isn't a dupe anymore. Then it's a really deep, dark, plummy purple and I think we're just going to go with this really dark, deep, plummy purple. This is more cool toned purple. Yeah, I am running out of real estate. Man, you're so close to fitting completely flush, which kind of stinks that it's not. I'm super, super happy with this. All right, and then the more fun part, in my opinion, is kind of building off of this palette to something that I can like really workhorse and use for a long period of time, i.e. the entire month. Um, I have a lot more space to fill up now, which is a little nerve wracking, but I do have all nine of these shades that are going to go in here. These are just in various projects. It feels almost weird to have my, these shades. I liked these at the bottom of my palette so I can grab them out a lot easier. The shades that I want to, that I try to rotate and kind of focus like at least in my like one of them in my looks every day. What do I want to put in this palette? What do I think I'm going to reach for in the next month? I should go off my like matte shades because this definitely is going to lean more shimmers. Let's be real. I don't think this shade is going to be with us the entire month of November. So I do think I'm going to need to put another like blending out shade into the rotation. I just had that one in. Maybe this guy... Yeah, this is Lush from ColourPop. It's just a matte cream shade. I really love shades like this, and I haven't reached for this one yet. So I'm just going to pull this guy in. This is Pretty's For Your Face Solstice. This I'm excited about. I'll probably only reach for it like two or three times within the month, but I will be very happy those two or three times. I just had Shake It Up. Man, that was such a great shade to have in the last time. I really enjoyed using this. Maybe I want something like this guy, which isn't like super warm, but isn't super cool. Yeah, let's, uh, something like this. My camera is about to die, so hopefully it doesn't before I can pick a shade. Oh, you know what? I kind of want to see how I like this one because I didn't like how it just swatched. So I'm going to pull this one in for scientific reasons. I have a urge to want to wear like a deep green like this. So I'm just going to lean into it. I'm going to pull this guy out um, because I want to pull, I want, what shade was it? Oh man. I kind of wanted to pull this guy and see how, oh maybe... Maybe that's going to get gargoyle to work too. Hold on. I had gargoyle in last month and I liked it the most when I wore it on top of a black base. Just, I kind of want to see if this does anything cool. I mean, does that make it too dark to wear? What about this? Something like that. Ooh, yes. Okay. So I'm going to pull, I want to keep Gargoyle out because again, I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know much about the Jewel Multichromes and this is like my, the, I wasn't sure how I would feel about it. So I only went with one instead of buying the bundle and 
I just kind of want to figure it out. I want to figure that one out. And I think it would look like those are two very different ways to wear a green. I could do it as a liner if I wanted to. I could do it all over the lid. I think it would just look cute. To kind of go with these two deeper toned mustards, I think I'll need something a little lighter to blend those out. I mean, once a shade like this is done, this is really what I've been using to blend everything out. But once that's done, I can't wait to start using some other shades. So I'll be pulling this guy. This is NBA Cosmetics Stucco. I think because I've never worn it and I think this might be another one that would look good with that topper shade. Or maybe I can pull another topper shade in because I've been really, really enjoying like topper eyeshadows as of recently. But this guy here is another NBA color and I haven't worn it. I think ever. I don't know if I've ever actually put this on my eyeballs. So I want to roll that guy in and maybe let's just do a couple swatches of it so we can start swatching some toppers on top of this. I'm going to, hmm. No, I want that shade too. <laughs> this is extra, extra glittery. This is Zodiac and again, leaning into the greens. So this guy going to go away. I have my Cleona shades here and I'm so excited to roll some of these in and I'm probably going to focus on the top. Well, no, there's a lot of space that I can fit more Cleona in. I have at least a slot here and probably another four right here. There's going to be a ton of shades in this palette. Holy smokes. I feel like this shade here, you're it's going to look like the same as everything in your guys' viewpoint. But for me, it looks incredible. So that is this guy. And if we layer a bit of this on here. Does that do anything cool? So that's the shade by itself, which is incredible. I mean, if anything else, I'm just going to pull it because I think that this is so great. This is Lux. Oh, yeah. That is a shade that I've been, it's been on my wish list for a long time. Maybe this one that you can't see over here would be really pretty. What are you? Gilding. Okay. And that is that guy by itself and swatched out. Try this guy. This one's super, super sparkly from my um, viewpoint. Ooh. That turns it like red. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I want to pull that guy out, which was this. That is the shade Gloaming. Okay, so I think I'm only going to be able to fit one or two more. I saw a look on Instagram of someone using Tessera with like this beautiful blue. Man, I just kind of went completely oddball tangent of where, where we were going with this. But long story short, I have the Rogue palette out in my project level up and I really want to put that in my palette since I saw that post because there's a beautiful blue in that palette and I can use some other shades with it. I am torn between like looking at them, these two shades. I'm gonna just swatch them real quick. The top of my hand is super stained, so I'm just gonna swatch them here. So this guy is gonna be Translucency. And I'll put that like closest to my thumb. And then the other one, it kind of reminds me of Wolfling from the Menagerie Feral palette, which I finished that shade if you didn't know. Um, this is the shade Blaze. It kind of has a similar quality to it where it looks kind of like translucently gold as a base and has like a beautiful pinky shift. Which is, that is exactly the shade Wolfling. Oh my gosh. That makes me so happy that I do have a somewhat dupe of that in my collection because I finished that shade as I mentioned but since I just kind of finished that shade I want to reach for something similar but different which is going to be the one down here that is the shade translucency it's definitely cooler toned but I think since we have some of these cooler tones up here I definitely didn't lean as cool toned as I thought I was going to in this palette um 
this palette makes me super excited though. Um, this is what we're gonna be using over the next couple weeks for the month of November. I'm super excited about this. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching this BYOP and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.